In this video, we are going to learn how to do auto matching of slabs in eDabs. Slab matching tutorial consists of three videos. This is part one of those three videos. How to auto match the slab. Part two will be on how to manually match the step. And part three will be the difference between membrane and shell type and their results interpretation. The link to the videos is given in description. Important points to consider when meshing the slab. The mesh area must be at least 3 feet by 3 feet. Smaller the mesh area, more accurate will be the results. Meshing is done in shell type elements. Meshing is important as ETABs work on finite element methods and the results are given at the nodes. The meshing line must be continuous from span to span that means there shall be no discontinuous match. Left side image shows the wrong matching while the right side image shows the correct. Starting with the new model. Let's press OK. We'll start with defining the materials. Now we will define the section properties for beam and column. Let's take a beam of 12 by 20. Select the material for the beam. Applying property modifiers according to the ACI code to incorporate the correct moment of inertia. Select the property type beam. Now defining for a column. Let's take it as 12 inch by 12 inch. Selecting the material. Property modifiers according to ACI code. Now defining the properties for slab. Let's take the slab of 6 inches. Select the material. We will select shell thin because we are going to require the meshing in the slab. In the third part of this video, we will discuss the difference between shell element and membrane whose link you will find in description of this video let's make it 6 inches property modifiers according to ACI code
the framing is complete now we need to draw the slab press enter similarly for the rest of this pants We need to ensure that the frame members are properly joined. When you will select, then it will be written that one join selected. Now we need to match the slab. add auto mesh option that the least or the maximum area of division shall be 3 feet by 3 feet now run the analysis after defining the load patterns save the model Now the analysis is run. The slab is automatically matched in at least 3 feet by 3 feet areas. The deform shape due to dead load. You can see at the joints, the displacements and the results are shown. The finer the meshing, the more accurate. Let's unlock the model and do a finer meshing. To see the difference in the results. Now I am selecting the meshing of one fit by one fit. Run the analysis. Now you may see finer or small sized boxes are formed. That gives you more accurate results. But the level of accuracy increase and it will decrease the speed of the analysis it was a simple structure so the analysis didn't take much time if it were a complex structure then it would have taken considerably large amount of time to run on a finer meshing Now you are seeing the number of point loads that is decided by the number of meshes you select in a particular panel. The more finer the meshing the more accurate will be the results and the deflected diagram. For the next part of this video click on the link to the next part video in the description for manual meshing. Thank you for watching.